for Gustafson. Here he is, Sweden's best, the former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger, Alexander Gustafsson. Certainly a guy who gave you a fight in Houston back in the day. That was the fight of the night at UFC 192, and I know taught you a lot about yourself as a fighter. Yes, I learned a lot of lessons in that fight against Gustafsson. But you look at Alexander, and people want to question whether or not he has the durability, the toughness to overcome insurmountable odds. Trust me, he does. He has fantastic footwork, underrated wrestling, in very, very good boxing. A very smart guy who trains out of the All-Stars Academy out in Sweden, has great coaching, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. Yeah, he hinted at retirement a few years ago, but his head and his heart seem to be in the right place. Alexander Gustafsson looking to prove a point here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. the tape for this heavyweight fight. Choi is 29. Gustafson is 33. He weighed in at 240 pounds. The Korean Superboy will have a five-inch edge in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander the Mahler Gustafsson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Alexander Gustafson, in terms of the pressure and the pace, there just aren't a lot of 205 pounders in the world that are going to be able to compete with this guy. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Relax, relax. Keep your hands in now. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Lance with a right hand. 
Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That's how you finish your fight. Vicious combo there! He got him. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Troy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Misses with the right hand. Slips that left hand. Three minutes to go here, round one. Great punch landed with so much power. Way to hide that leg kick. Now connects with the right. Swing and a big miss by Gustafson. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Just misses with the jab. Oh, big punch lands. Body kick now by Alexander Gustafson. There's the kick, it's blocked. Gustafson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. What a punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Great punch. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Gustafson. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Left hand punch with the clinch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Got the single collar tie. What a tricky head kick. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Connects with the punch there. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Blocks the shot. Got clip with the right hand. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have to take the way he does All right, let us now check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and how about that flying knee? I mean, who does that? Who jumps off the ground and throws a knee? Who propels himself to throw a flying knee? I would never. Right. It's too dangerous. Risk versus reward. You try anything out there, but I guess that's why it's a video. I probably pull a muscle or something. <laughs> I All right, let's get to round two. Just misses with the left hook. Nice punch by Choi. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. A 
uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by Gustafson. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Nice right in. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice punch by Choi. Nice body kick. And there comes the separation now. Straight right, he misses. Oh, a huge block there. Effective strike there by Alexander Gustafson. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice right hand. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh, nice. that these guys are striking with. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Visibly limping here. on the straight right hand. Nice punch, land. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Real quick leg kick. Well, Gustafson shot there is blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Just misses with the right. He's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, yeah. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Punch over the top. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 20 seconds to go round two. Clinch. Oh, strong punch there by Shore. Oh, Gustafson. Oh, huge right hand. And what a round. Great job, All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. He certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. 
He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations Ready? of your life. Your relationship, your, your, your fighting, everything. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Good punch, Lance. And he landed the right hand there. Punches blocked. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Big punch lands. Ooh. Superman punch now. Oh! He's a oh. He's hurt man. Straight right hand, no good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Looking for that left hand, not there. Oh, collar tie. Oh, good head movement there, nice slip. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Three minutes remain in the round. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. And they separate. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Flips to avoid the right. Oh, big left. in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you go. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right move. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just man. He's hurt bad. Choi's attempt there is blocked by the oh! Every time he's yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got oh! it very bad. And just like that, the fight is over. That was nasty. Oh my goodness, what a fight! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Chong. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out.